Well, hello, YouTube. Captain Dave Sport Fishing in the Wolf Den one more time. And what do I have for you? Well, to start off with, I got one of my favorites. The Bubba Blade. Bubba Blade. I got that to sharpen. And a new addition to the Wolf Den is I've got my... This is my sharpness tester. First time I ever saw one was on... Okay, there's, there's a piece falling off. I saw this on uh, Project Farm. You know, the guy who destroys all the lawnmower engines. This belongs to a YouTube viewer here locally in Jacksonville, Florida. Good old Mike came on over and dropped these off for me to sharpen for him. Test that on the, um, on the sharpness tester. Uh, this Bubba is, uh, they call this a semi semi-flexible knife. It's got most of its flex right at the tip. It's not bad, but it's not good either. You want a bit of a toothy edge. This isn't the kind of knife <clears throat> that you're gonna be putting some super mirror finish on. All right, well, I'm kind of setting up here. One thing I wanted to mention, guess what? I didn't know, but Mike told me that when he was a teenager in California, he worked at the Buck Factory in El Cajon, California, as a grinder, grinding knives. He said all the kids did it. Hey, it's all, it's what all the kids do. That's pretty interesting uh, since, you know, I'm a Buck fan. So I just thought I'd throw that in as I'm getting started here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it from this angle, but this Bubba Blade is really wiggly. So I'm, it's even wiggly in the clamp up in the front. It's very, very, very wiggly knife compared to any of these others. Yeah. Even my Dexter Russell 7 inches, I don't think, are as wiggly or as flexible as this one. So, thank God I watched all the videos from Clay Allison, who uh, is the owner of Wicked Edge, and he said, there is a way around it. And that's sort of what I'm doing. I'm just drawing a burr right now. Um, this knife kind of lend itself. It's kind of lending itself to a 19 degree edge in around that in around that area. You know, they're pretty hard worked. And many knives, when they're hard worked up against, you know, cutting boards and wood, that's very abrasive. I always kind of stick with a 20 degree angle with my own fillet knives. Because 20 is very repeatable for me to even even if I want to just do a quick on my Spyderco uh, triangle sharp maker while I'm on the boat. So 20 seems to work for me. So I'm, I, I didn't want to do this. It kind of lend itself to around 19. So I'm drawing a burr. I got a burr all the way up and down it. And we're going to get going through the stones here. Ah, oh, damn. You know what I did? I started this. And I should have tested what the blade tested at before I got started. Ah, uh, I just got this, okay? And I, I forgot to do that. Now, we'll see what it is at the end, but we're not going to be able to see what it was in the beginning. All right, well, good golly. I'm having to do the, the trick I was talking about. All of a sudden, the knife went from back here to up here. 
it's because I'm going to have to split this in two. Kind of do back here and then blend it with the front when I readjust the knife. It's sharp. I'm on um, about an 800 grit right now. I don't know if I'm going to leave it there or, or continue on. But, I mean, this thing is... It reminds me of an ugly stick. An old classic ugly stick. It's like this this bubble blade is like a like an old ugly stick. It's uh like a buggy whip. Alrighty, I'm done with Mr. Bubba. Now if you forget, don't forget, when you got a bubble blade, your thumb goes there. <laughs> and your your other fingers go there. Okay, right there, that's where your thumb goes. Inside joke. All right, so let's give it the paper test first. Because I've got to set the camera all different directions and all that to get the tester. So let's give it a, let's give it a shot on this. Is that good enough to clean a fish? I certainly hope so. This is a fillet knife and it was a kind of a pain to uh, to do there and it had to break it into sections. So uh, I think Mike will be very very pleased with this compared to when, uh, when he handed it to me. So, let me set up my sharp sharpness tester, move the camera around and do all that good stuff, and we'll check it out. Even though I didn't do it before, I could pretty much tell you what it was before. And I'll explain how the tester works if you haven't seen it a million other times on the YouTube. Here's my best certified uh, sharp electronic sharpness tester. And what this does is there's a media. I'm not sure. I'm trying to get as I'm trying to get you as much light as humanly possible here. Okay. If you can see. Let's do it up against this card. There is a little tiny, tiny little string right there. That's called the sharpness test air media. It's almost like monofilament. So there's a cartridge in here full of this material and it comes out of this hole right there. You stretch it across with just you know, not, you don't yank it across. This tightens up this side, this tightens up this side. Then you put it in here and then you've got, this is a magnet and this is your fulcrum. And you'd line these two up or for a bigger knife, you can move it out here even. And this is a scale that measures in grams. Okay. And then what you do is we're going to take the knife. We're going to stick it in here as our fulcrum. And we're going to go down and put pressure against that sharpness media. And it's going to tell us on the scale what it's set at, okay, what it, what it measures. And here is, let me try to get as much light as humanly possible. And this is how it measures. Down here, zero to 100 is a double edge razor blade, okay? 
then from basically it says utility razor right there we all know what that is the one-sided razors would be about 150 to 200 but see that double-edged razor blade that's actually right in there at 50 to 70 is what that would actually be. So 50 to 70, then there's that little bit above it. I actually need a pointer. Then there's this little bit right here. There's a little gap, little bit behind, above it, and then it reaches 100. Then from 100 to about 150 is in a really good range but if you can get from 150 to about 200 you're a utility razor blade then about what it looks like right here is about 250 to 350 375 is new high-end cutlery edges and that's that's the grams that it's measuring right here the grams then as soon as you get up to here like 400 it's edges in need of maintenance or repair and it then you can break it down from 400 okay 400 here up to about 800 you have a moderately rolled edge then of course it keeps going up into severely rolled edges bent edges edges broken and then an unsharpened blank which would be butter knife so this is the common edges and edge issues what we're going to do is we're going to fly by the seat of my pants here we're going to turn it on I'm going to turn on the light. I'm trying to look through the viewfinder here so you can see it as well as I can see it. And we're going to test it. Now we're going to go about the middle of the knife here. And as I press down, you're going to watch these numbers change. And this gives us, this entire setup is so you have a benchmark to go by. Sure, it can slice paper. Sure. Okay, but this gives us a benchmark. So let's try it. A 265. So if we go back now, and we're between utility razor blade and new high-end cutlery edges. But that's where we're at. I believe that 100%. Utility razor blade were just above that and just below high end cutlery. We're we're just right there. I mean that would be like 250 and getting into the new high end cutlery. So that's actually what this is. This is a hundred percent believable that it's high end cutlery edge, which is you know, usually factory or better. So, that's what we got here, folks. And I think Mike will be very happy with that. And I've got one, two, four more to do. But I wanted to get this Bubba Blade first in. I wanted to get it done and get it out of the way because I know that these Flay knives because I did like six of my own. They're quite wiggly. And I knew that one was going to, I knew this one here was going to be the challenge. So thanks for watching. I've got some buck knife. I'm not going to call them reviews. I'm going to show and tell. So I've got some some buck stuff coming up and that'll be Monday Monday or Tuesday possibly is when that video may come out so if you're a buck fan and you just want to see some 
other bucks because that's what I do as a buck fan. You'll be able to uh, see my new procurements. So thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. And I'll see you next week.